Good morning guys and welcome back to another EG4 solar hybrid heating video. In this video I want to show you how to calculate the COP or the coefficient of performance of the EG4 solar hybrid heat pump. Now basically COP is a measurement of energy output divided by energy input. Typically a 3 to 5 COP is considered a good rating, um, obviously the higher being better. And I'm going to show you how to calculate the unit's actual BTU output which is needed to calculate the COP. So um, first we're going to start off taking a look at an electric space heater. Electric space heaters are considered 100% efficient, meaning every watt you use is converted into heat and you get 100% of your rated input. Now a heat pump on the other hand with a COP of three means for every watt you spend on energy, you're getting three watts of heat output, making them much more efficient than an electric space heater, which is why they're really popular for people off grid or relying solely on solar to heat their homes. Now it's important for you guys to know the outdoor temperature right now is about 48 degrees Fahrenheit. The COP of a heat pump will decrease as the outdoor temperature becomes colder. It has a harder time extracting heat from the outdoor air. So this rating is good for today's temperature. As temperatures fall, obviously the rating will fall as well. Now some of you guys may be familiar with this space heater. This is the heater I'm using to heat my house on solar for the months of October and November. So I thought this would be a good baseline seeing as electric space heaters are 100% efficient. Right now we're pulling about 1300 watts. Now keep in mind this is a cheap Amazon meter. Uh, this heater is rated for 1500 watts. It's also 10 years old. So take everything with a bit of a grain of salt here. But at 1300 watts, we are putting out around 4,500 BTUs. Uh, the calculation used to get that is 3.41 uh, wattage times 3.41 will give you your BTUs. So we'll need that later to uh, check the BTU output of the heat pump. Here is the rating plate for the electric space heater. As you can see, its max input is 1500 watts and its max output is 5000 BTU. So again, it's close to 3.41, but uh, not going to be exact calculations on most of this stuff. So this is the indoor head unit for the EG4 solar hybrid heat pump. Most of you guys are very familiar with this by now. I've waited long enough this morning that the sun is fully up when we're running 100% on solar because I think that makes a big difference in the COP efficiency of this unit. The fact that we don't have to convert AC electricity to DC to turn this unit on is making a pretty big performance boost in the overall COP. So I'm going to show you how to get started on calculating the COP and first of all we need the BTU output. So we're going to be looking for the temp rise across the unit, meaning the ambient air temperature versus the output temperature. We also need to find the CFM, which I found a data sheet for, and there's one other constant we're going to punch into the formula. So we're going to start off by taking a temperature reading here in the supply air. This should be around 100 degrees, maybe 110. And the formula we're going to be using for the BTU output is temp rise times CFM times 1.08. Now, for the sake of this video, 1.08 is a constant, but in this screenshot, it describes why it's not. Um, but to keep things simple, we're going to use it as a constant. So we're going to call it 107 for the output temperature. Now we need to take our thermometer and move it to the top of the unit for the return air or the ambient room temperature. And after a few minutes, we are sitting at 77 degrees indoor temperature. This is up on top of the indoor head. I'll show you the screenshot of the app now so you can verify they are pretty close to the same. So the next number we need is our CFM. I found this data sheet online, which gives us our cubic meters per hour, and we're going to convert that to CFM. I have the indoor airflow locked on medium instead of automatic, and that gives us an indoor airflow of 435 cubic meters per hour. Then we convert our cubic meters to CFM and that gives us a CFM of 256. Now we can take our temperature rise, which was 30 degrees, 107 minus 77 times 256, our indoor CFM times 1.08, giving us a total BTU output of 8,294 BTUs. Next, we need to take our BTUs and convert it to watts. So we take our 8,294 divided by 3.41, giving us 2,432 watts. So now that we know our output in watts, we need to know our input. Right now we're using 460 watts, all from solar. And just so there's no doubt, I want to show you we are locked on medium fan. So now that we have all our information, we can take our output wattage divided by our input wattage, giving us a coefficient of performance of 5.1. 
which is an extremely high COP. So for anyone doubting or saying the numbers are not quite accurate, we'll take two round numbers, a little bit lower output, a little bit higher input, still gives us a COP of 4.8, which again is very good. Now, like I said before, I think this performance boost does come from the fact that we are using DC energy straight from the solar panels into the air conditioner slash heat pump. We don't have to uh, convert. We don't have to lose efficiency going from AC to DC. And I think that is playing a big part in the overall efficiency. Now, of course, if there's something I've missed in my calculations, please feel free to let me know in the comments. I make mistakes too. I'd also think it'd be interesting if you guys would do a quick calculation on your systems at home and comment your brand, make, model, whatever you have, and your COP below after you've done your calculations. Um, also, if you like this type of video, the statistics, calculations, uh, information, let me know, and I may do another COP video as the temperatures start to drop, and another one comparing AC versus DC input COP. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.